lets me know on, on Monday night. Um, Sunday I felt like absolute trash because of the sinus infection I had. Well, I guess I still technically have it. But I can breathe today. See, that's the important part. I can breathe. Yesterday, I couldn't breathe. Like, there was no airflow coming through my sinuses at all. They were so inflamed. I did do some reading on Sunday. Not a ton. I mean, I read about 100 pages or so of Six of Crows. And I read about 50 of uh, Among the Hidden by Margaret Peterson Haddix. Which, both of these are technically rereads. I read this one back in 2020 or 2021. I can't remember. But, um, I couldn't remember. Well, I don't remember. I remember, like, bits and pieces as I read them. But, uh, I, I didn't understand. Like, I just kind of, like, I wasn't into it back then. I was just, like, I was reading it for a book club. I was like, I just gotta get through this book. Like, bro. I am enjoying it. And I have made good progress here between, well, mainly I made a ton of progress tonight. But Among the Hidden is also a reread for me. And, I mean, I feel like everyone knows what Six of Crows is about, you know? <laughs> like, this is, this is a very popular book. I don't feel like Among the Hidden is, though. It is, like, middle grade. It is a reread for me. So we read it, um, I think in seventh grade. It was a, the first, it's a series, and Among the Hidden is book one. So it was the first book we read. And we, we just read the first book, but, like, the series was, like, a huge wait list at my, like, little tiny school library. Because everyone wanted to continue the series. But the premise is, um, there is, like, a two-child law where you can only have two children. And there are shadow children, which are, like, third, fourth, whatever kids. I think mainly third. But they have to be hidden from the government. And this is, like, in a dystopian, like, U.S. environment. Which I feel like a lot of dystopians are, like, look at the Hunger Games. I mean, that takes place in the United States. Divergent. Dystopian. Takes place in the U.S. yet. The Selection. Also a dystopian type vibe. In the U.S. You know? Like. Anyways, it's one of those. But it is more geared toward middle grade. It reads very fast. I'm already like a third of the way through it. But. That's literally. What I just told you is all I remember from the book. Because I, I haven't read it in 11 years. But I remember loving the series. And. I was like, I just, I want to reread this. And there was no wait on the first book. So I was like, yeah, perfect. We're going to read the first one. Because I like to have an, an, an e-book going just so that, like, it's easy for me to read in bed. But Monday, as I said, I made a good progress on this. So, I mean, it's about a heist. Let's admit it. Like, if you ask me a prompt, it's like, read a heist book. This is the book I'm going to pick up. Because I think it's well known that this is about a heist. I mean, it literally says, six dangerous outcast, one impossible heist. We're breaking into a prison. What's not to like about that? And, you know, and it, it picks up, like, after the events of Shadow and Bone. I had to think of the word. I was like, oh, uh, it's like sitting right over there. Um, but I am now on chapter 27. I think there's, like, 46 chapters, maybe. So my plan is to finish this night, because this is my book one for get a clue but uh with my illness and uh also the fact that it's november and this is when i start working 45 to 50 hour weeks in december it will be for sure 50 hour weeks because everybody waits at the end of the year to get their damn exams why wouldn't you wait until the end of the year to get your exam logically you know you know why wouldn't you so i work a lot of forced overtime and we're actually not allowed to do anything but work at work so i can't read a book I mean, like, on my lunch break, if I get a full lunch break, Friday I only got 20 minutes. I literally had enough time to eat and then I'd come back. Um, if, if we don't have patience, we need to be cleaning or doing something. And I have so much other random shit I need to do, like, inventory, stock, of multiple things. Not just like, oh, what do I gotta do? I gotta do stock for, like, five different things and inventory for five different things. So... It takes up, like, all my free time. I also gotta do compliance training, because I haven't done my November of compliance training. I literally just did October's on Thursday or Friday. I can't remember. 
So, I got a lot to do yet at work. But, good progress. Um, I'm now at the part where, the, you know, this is all, like, the build-up. We are now breaking into the prison, you know? This was all, like, let's set up the story and, like, come up with our plan. So, now we're gonna break into it. But it's only... 142 more pages. So, I'm thinking, you know, I'm just gonna stay up tomorrow and finish it. Like, that's gonna be the goal. But I also want to finish, um, Barbarians, is it me? Is that the one I'm reading? I was right, it's Barbarians, wait. I want to finish that up. Um, I have 115 pages, but you know, I listened to that like on 3.5 times speed. So, I should be able to finish that. I am now rambling, and it is 10.16, and I need to go to bed. So, I'm going to sign off now. are putting like a nice blue glow over the end and I mean I feel like you can kind of tell against the blanket I like semi did my hair and like I, I legit put like product in it I don't generally put product in my hair and I like I diffused it which is something I generally just I don't bother with because I'm lazy and my diffuser was literally in a closet for probably about a year because, like, I was just too lazy to do it. And it takes, like, 30 minutes to do. And I just, I didn't want to do it. But, like, I was kind of feeling it tonight. So, I did it. But, I finished Six of Crows. Four stars. As well as a reread for me. I have read this book before. My bookmark is still in it where I started, though, tonight. We got Betrayal. We got some, uh, you know, deaths, which I feel like happens in literally every fantasy book, blah, blah, you know. And then, like, some potential deaths, you know. And then we add with some threats. Just exactly what we needed. I'm hoping to get to the next book soonish, but I need a prompt for the clue readathon to match Crooked Kingdom. But... It is currently 10 o'clock. I need to take someone out. And then my goal is to also finish Among the Hidden tonight. So we can get that done. And then I really do also need to start my library books. So that's going to be like my physical books now because the library books are due on the 18th. I have two of them. I need to get through them. And they're like, I kind of picked up kind of chonky ones, you know? So we gotta, we gotta focus on that. But otherwise, you know, it's like a chill day. Like, the whole goal for this week is to play catch-up. And I am feeling so much better. I feel like my voice sounds better already. <clears throat> and there are times if I, talk, if I talk too much, it starts to get like that. But I feel like it's doing, I'm like doing 110% better. And so, yes, the goal this week is to, this one, read. Finish Among the Hidden. Finish my Room 3 book. I kind of want to finish one of the library books over the weekend too. Let me see. It's probably gonna take me about six days to read it. Cause I have like I literally have it sectioned off so that I finish it on the seventeenth so I can return them on the eighteenth. But I have them sectioned out. I didn't do today's section, but like I'll just do two tomorrow because like I had to finish this book. Like I just I needed to get my room one prompt done, you guys. But among the hidden is room two. And then I I checked the third one out on my phone today. So I have the audiobook for my third room and I think I'll be able to like book that out tomorrow because I also think tomorrow I'll be able to finish these Ice Planet Barbarians is my plan. After I get home from work, I'm going to sit down and do my diamond painting and knock that one out and I'm going to try to knock out a good chunk of room three. That is the general plan and we're going to try to stick to it. Oh my god, it looks horrendous. It's so Staticky right there. Okay. Ignore my hair. That's not cooperating as soon as I turn on a camera. Or maybe it's like this the entire time and I didn't even know. You know, <laughs> good thing I'm just doing laundry at home and like not out in my leg. But, you know, we gotta backtrack because, um, I did not film anything the past several days. Um, so, not that one. I started The True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren. 
my last Christina Lauren book um, was a flop. You know, like I talked myself. I was gonna give it a different rating, like not that bad. I was like, I was gonna give it a two. Literally talked myself into a one star read on a vlog. Um, however, I got the little tabbies in it. No, I am not annotating. Um, this is a library book and it is due on the 18th, but I also have another library book out. So I have gone through and I have tabbed how many pages I need to read every single day to finish these books the night before they're due. Technically, I'm supposed to be on the green one here on Friday night, um, but there's 15 minutes until Friday night, so we're not going to get that far, you know? But, like, it's always Saturday for me to get all the way to the blue, which I feel like is, you know, plausible. Because I don't have to work, and, like, I can honestly spend most of the day reading. Like, I can get, I can read. Where's the bookmark? I feel like I can read that much in a day, like, on a Saturday. Yeah, that's, that's should be easy. But this is become a bonus book for the Clue Readathon. I did catch up on the Clue Readathon. Well, it's like, okay, so I started this one, right? Okay. It's going swell. It's going a lot better than Josh and Hazel, like, which is my flop one. And I've read other Christina Lawrence that I like. It's just like that one was a flop for me. And I'm hoping it's like a fluke, you know, like that, that, that watch is not for me. And then I re also read Sprinkle with Murder, which I listened to on audio. It's really short. I listened to it the entire thing on Wednesday. And that got me caught up with the Clue Readathon, you know? Like, we are all caught up. Which, Sprinkle with Murder is um, by Jen McKinley. And I've read some of her romance books before. And I liked them. Like, I've read some of them. I read them earlier this year. And I like those. So I was like, you know what? Let's try one of your cozy mysteries here. And I liked it. So it's a bakery shop owner. And she is being suspected for murder. You know how all the cozy mysteries start with our protagonist being suspected of for the murders um you know and she did not do the murders a disclaimer they never do the murders you know <laughs> but they solve the murder and you know i really enjoyed it it was super cute there is a romance subplot so i was really vibing with that i ended up giving it i did never rated it apparently on here oh my god i never rated it on my ipad so I use an app to like track my reading and apparently never rated it on here. And uh, I can't remember if I gave it four or five. Oh, Wednesday was so long ago, guys. I gave it four. It was so long ago. Why would I know that, you know? It was so far away. Thursday? But that's like what I did on Thursday. Um, So I got all cut up. Thursday, uh, I did no reading i like sat down with the book and it sat here on my lap but i did do all of the cleaning and i did have class on thursday so i did i it wasn't like i wasn't productive i did things and it's just called uh you know we had to do the cleaning so like everything is nice and clean though and i had class which we're almost done with classes thankfully but also not thankfully because that means I have to stay for the national exam and like I'm not nervous now but I will be nervous you know like right now it's just like it's not existing. oh my god let me mute the sprints before they start to talk okay so sorry I'm watching sprints and it was like you know when I finish my book let me film this vlog clip anyways so stream is muted now so you guys can hear it Anyways, I didn't read on Thursday. That's that's the moral of it. Friday. Tonight. It is Friday night. I have sat down and read. I finished Barbarian's Mate, which is the Six Ice Planet Barbarians. Middle of the road. Three stars. But I got a good chunk of my diamond painting done during it. And I got all the laundry done. I folded two of the loads. I folded my scrubs and the towels and the rest of the clothes. I will worry about later. Like, probably tomorrow. I need to do it tomorrow morning. I just need to do the clothes, you know? That's I always get through those two loads and then I'm like, ah, clothes. Ugh. And it's just because it takes so much longer to fold my clothes than it takes to fold the towels or my scrubs. And I'm just like not here for it all the time. But it's about to switch over to Saturday. But I decided on my book four, my room four book for the clue readathon. And I have decided Sea of Monsters. 
you know I read reread The Lightning Thief. I don't know how long ago now. Um, but literally none of these readathons have let me put these books into these spots. And that'd be a problem because I want to read this. So I've decided this is going to be my book core prompt. I'm going to definitely read it for at least an hour tonight. So I'll probably read it to like one. And then if I'm still awake, we'll go back to True Love Experiment. It's really going to depend though if I'm awake or not. I may be because I just took a bunch of caffeine because of a migraine. And the caffeine may keep me up or I may just crash and burn yet. You know, debatable. But we'll see. This tree gremlin has won the fight. I put up a small Christmas tree in my bedroom for festive spirits. And what has someone done in the 48 hours that it's been up? It's been knocked over six times. Because the tree gremlin wants to sleep under the tree. But when you have a two foot tree and this whole chonker thing to lay underneath of it, it don't work too well, does it, Shelby? So the tree gremlin has won. I put away all the fall stuff. I put up my Christmas stuff. I'm starting to put up the Christmas stuff. And I guess we'll put up your tree, Shelby. Okay? I know you went down. So I'm gonna put up the tree now. Okay, we got everything assembled. Should we see if the gremlin likes it? You like the tree? Are you eating the tree? Is it time to put lights on it? Shabby, don't eat it. Why you eat it? Just be a gremlin. Yep, there the gremlin goes. Okay, lights are on and tree gremlin is underneath. You know we're not done yet, Shelby. We still gotta put the ornaments on it. Okay, I think we're done. I'm not one for like tree toppers, but I think it's done. I think the theme of this year of like red and silver and black with some white is really well. The black doesn't stand out as well, but it's probably because it's super dark in here, but it's fine. And our gremlin is beneath the tree over there yet. I don't have a skirt yet. I went and ordered a new tree skirt. I couldn't find anything that I liked in the store, but I ordered this nice fluffy tree skirt at all that should be here next week. So then I'll put it on the tree. It's nice and fluffy and Shelby will love it. And the little tree gremlin, we'll go say hi to her. <clears throat> Do you like the tree? Oh, thank you. I love your tail too. Your tail is so nice. Do you like the tree though? Okay, you like this purr purr. Are you happy, my little tree gremlin? Oh. Are you happy? Okay, you can really go back to the tree. She will live here now. That's the, she just will live under the tree now for the, oh. Ow, okay, now you're biting me. Now you're biting me. Okay, so it's Saturday night and I did not end up starting Sea of Monsters, but I did read a good chunk of the True Love Experiments, which is the reason I did not end up picking up Sea of Monsters today is because I picked up this to read while I was making cookies today and it's all I wanted to read. Like this is a win like you know i said josh and hazel was like a total like fail for me but this one this one is where it's at i'm really enjoying this one 
I think this is probably honestly I'm enjoying this one more than so the other two I've read that I can't remember is The Unhoneymooners and In a Holidays and I will say like I like this better than both of those although In a Holidays is like top tier for me for like holiday romance reads I've read so Otherwise, that wraps up this week because I spent the rest of the day helping my mom put up Christmas decorations at her house. And then the tree gremlin has won, as you guys have seen, and I put up a Christmas tree. So that's all I have for this week. Bye.